Well, hello to all of you YouTube viewers. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Uh, before I start, I must say that before you start judging me, uh, this is my first video. I really don't do this, but I, I really thought I should make this video as it might help somebody because I was looking for help and I couldn't find any specific information that will help with the issue that I was having. I have a 2011 Volvo D13, 10 speed and a week ago uh, it threw up a code and a check engine light came on the code was spn 411 fmi7 but i did not notice any difference on driving or power or sound or anything so i just drove with it for a few days but two days ago i was driving up a hill and the engine all of a sudden starts running rough and it was a lot louder and also loss of power when i was accelerating the first three four seconds it would just hesitate on going almost like no turbo so anyway i went on google and youtube and tried to find some help and i really couldn't do much other than some people say that it's, it could be a venturi pipe or egr cooler or egr valve or all that expensive stuff so anyway, uh, I came back and parked it and uh, somebody has told me that check the boost sensor, it might be clogged. So anyway, I thought, let's just do that at least um, because I could, did call the shop actually and they told me that it would be another day or so before they can get me in. So I uh, first thing I did is went to the boost sensor and the boost sensor is on the driver's side, right on top of the engine here, very easy access to. Uh, is this thing here and it just got one bolt and cable connects to it to just snap it off and I used a screwdriver to just pry it off slowly because it got a washer around it the tight seal so I removed it it was totally clogged it was a lot of soot there and I cleaned it up installed it back on started the truck same thing codes were there engine sounded the same power the same and then parked it again and I thought maybe I could look at the delta pressure sensor because a year ago I did replace the sensor uh, to the same code I replaced it and for some reason the code went away and then uh, I went on driving so the delta pressure sensor it's on the passenger side just so you can see and I guess this is the venture pipe correct me somebody if I'm wrong but the delta pressure sensor is this thing here it got two bolts one on this side and one in the other side. Uh, I believe there are 12 or 13 millimeter bolts. I just unscrewed those and also got a cable. So what I did is I just disconnected the cable here, just kind of uh, counterclockwise unscrewed it and it just comes out. This sits here, the back one that attaches to the sensor comes out with the sensor. I removed the sensor, cleaned up the sensor, and before I installed it, I thought maybe I should check this part here uh, that holds the sensor. It got two holes, and I tried the paper clip just to see if they're if they're clogged or not. And of course, they were totally blocked from set. I tried cleaning them up; I couldn't do it. So what I did is I removed this part. This part got uh, four bolts: uh, two on this side, and then two in the back side and i removed it and used brake cleaner and a, a paper clip so i cleaned it up opened them up and also this venturi pipe has two holes in there so uh, those were blocked of course as well i used the brake cleaner opened them up too cleaned it, everything up installed it back on easy four bolts connected the cable and also that very same time i went back on to the uh, booster pressure sensor and I thought maybe I should just remove it one more time and I did remove it again and of course it was almost clogged up again clean it up installed it back on um, started the truck totally different totally different noise uh, I test drive it the power is back on uh, sounded a lot better uh, the engine was running smooth and but the check engine light was still there um 
I parked it for the night this morning. I started the truck, check engine light still, codes still there. And I drove it for 70 miles and just back here at my base and turn it off before I was gonna go park it. And then when I went back to park it, I turn it on again and the check engine light is gone. Codes no hair, truck runs a lot smoother, way better, better fuel mileage. So anyway, this might, if you have this issue, if you have those two codes, try these two things and see if it, if it helps you. Um, it did help me, it did fix my issue. Hopefully it does the same for you. Um, it's always good to change those two sensors because they're not expensive as I plan to change them maybe in near future and also keep an eye on those two things, just make sure they are not clogged. I was worried that, that my Venturi pipe or the, uh, or the EGR cooler was clogged, but I guess they're not because the codes are gone, the truck runs great, power is back, uh, and that's all I ask for. So anyway, hopefully this helps you. Um, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment on it and I'll try to uh, answer as many questions as I can. Um, but anyway, uh, this, this is my video. Uh, thanks again for watching and good luck to you. Stay safe and drive safe out there. Bye.